What is going on everybody? I am back again, back at Whistler. I'm on the Black Home side this morning. I'm at the Black Home base. I wanted to check it out, see what's going on. We had some heavy rain the last uh, three days, so I wanted to see what it did. And uh, well, it's really opened up this uh, mini golf course nicely. So mini golf course <laughs> is looking good. Uh, there ain't no way to ski down right now. Where's the snow? I feel a little lost walking in circles, can't find it. Holy crap. Doesn't even look like December right now. Welcome to the first episode of Where is the Snow? I'm your host James and I'm going to show you Whistler Mountain and Baco Mountain and show you uh, what happened to the snow over this last week. So opening day was a banger. It was super sweet. There was so much snow Woo! and unfortunately all of this recent this recent storm cycle was all rain in the lower reaches of the mountain so it's pretty nasty so i'm going to ski around today and i'm going to show you just how nasty it is what happened to all the snow right <laughs> Running through the run, it's nice to see. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. A little bit of snow, eh? A lot. <laughs> A lot. A lot of snow. No one's gonna be on zigzag yet, so I'll get the fresh corduroy, but it'll be busier down there. That is hard. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if we can shred them. Look at this, rocks and creek. There's only about 20 centimeters of snowpack down there. <laughs> so it's wide open. We're right in the middle of the run here. Wow. Look at that, more grass. Holy crap. Look at all this ruffle in here. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was pretty subpar <laughs> conditions. We need that to warm up a bit. Oh. Where did all the snow go? Not there. Not there. Not there. Jersey Cream Bowl is looking pretty good in terms of uh, how much snow it's held on to. The roundhouse is about 1,850 meters. Anything below like 1,600 halfway down the run just got scorched with rain. How you doing? Thank you. The cat skin is open. Unmarked rock. Look at all the dirt and snow by the gondola here. That's nice to see at the very least, happy to see some sunshine. A weird dusty layering of snow, so it snowed up here while it was raining down there. Beautiful. Hard to dodge it. Whoop. Patroller is roping it off. Solid move. I almost cranked myself here earlier. Good move roping that off. Look at this great coverage to our left here. Yep. That, uh, that looks good. So many holes, so many rivers. Oh yeah, that looks good. So many ponds. It's crunchier than a bag of Tostitos chips up there today, folks. What is the matter with you? It is bare naked down here. The snow might not be good, but that, that castle's looking damn good. Well, I think I gave you a decent idea with the black home side, uh, what the black home side looks like today. Let's go check out West or see what the deal is over there. What does this say? As you can see down in the trees, the coverage is ah, pretty barren. Top part, you get about five good turns and then it turns to flat. Oh, there's a creek. So there's the lineup for uh, for Emerald Chair, sorry. And we got a creek, nice delicious fresh water running right along the side of the chair. So that ain't, uh, that ain't too much better than Blackcomb on the bottom part of this. Wow, a couple washouts almost looks like some roots. The trees in here have no snow. Oh, what do we have here? A little mud. Oh, another creek. Fog and no snow. Amazing. That'll be quite the story. Wow. All dirt. Did not have come down here. 
Oh my god. Mental. Okay. Well, that's just bad. <laughs> All dirt. All dirt. Down here at uh, the Olympic Station, so the mid station for the, uh, the Worcester Black one down the line. Thank you. Let's go check out Red Chair. A little bit of blue sky poking out. Lift a little soft. Just over a crust, baby. That's all it is today. Just over a crust. You can see this crap, you can see anything. Wow. At least the view is beautiful. I've never even seen these rocks before. One of my favorite carvers down the mountain, Dave Murray Downhill. Looks like that's closed as well. So we're at the top of the uh, the Creekside Gondola right now. Some coverage up uh, Big Red. As you can see, up behind us is uh, isn't too good. Um, ski the top of the Whistler side. You only got about 200 meters of non icy stuff. So we're gonna ski down. We're gonna go check out Garbanzo Chair. I'm sure it's it's a pretty big gong. This under the chair here is one of my favorite runs. And last year, I remember it was about December the 12th or 13th, and we had a killer pow day um, on this run here. But look at this, this is the total wear is the snow. It's midday and I'm getting a little tired. So you know what time it is? It's time for the first day of the 12 days of hot sauce. I got some advent calendar uh, for my mother. Thanks mom. Um, it's, <laughs> it's all hot sauces, 12 different hot sauces. And I thought, you know what? There's nothing better than a little bit of spiciness to spice the day up on the chairlift. So we're gonna try the first one today on the lift. So we're gonna try out the Cajun style hot sauce. Cheers guys. I just drank about half of that. Woo -hoo -hoo. You know what? Not too bad. That's a good midday wake up. <laughs> Sorry for that quick break. We'll get back to skiing now. Alrighty. Let's rip run from top to bottom. We're out of here. I think we've seen all we needed to see and skied all we can ski today. Dust and crust. So here's the sad situation at the bottom of Whistler Village here. There's barely enough to get onto the hill. It's sad to see this one still get lost, but it'll come back shortly in the next two big snowfalls. That was the iciest day I've had since I used to ski back in uh, Quebec, and that was always icy. So icy you couldn't even lay it down, but I can't wait to get back out here when there's a bit more snow, or even when all those groomers soften up just a tad. Tried the Whistler side, tried the Black Home side. If you want good skiing, you gotta stay as high up as possible, and you're gonna get some okay skiing. When it softens up, you're gonna get some good skiing. That's all about the good times right now, you know? You don't wanna get too fussed about uh, about the snow. Get out there, get riding, regardless of the conditions. Nice to be out, it's way better than being at home. So have fun, be safe. See you next time.